Hello and welcome to Craft the World, where we are building ourselves a house. Slowly but surely, getting this little house built. Um, do we yet have a bow for you, Carolina? Uh, we actually, um, actually we have three bows. Armor. Ah, uh, yes, that's what we need to do. We need to make some silver armor for the for the people who are not warriors and possibly gold armor for the warriors because uh, the warriors are going to be in close combat taking a lot of damage and for them the agility minus might well be worth it. Worth having a bit of a sturdier armor. So, we have 15 dwarves. I guess like maybe 5 of them or 6 of them are warriors. Oh, that's including the heroes, isn't it? Right. Well, anyways, almost all of our warriors who we can give equipment to, so the uh, non-hero warriors are now equipped with uh, the better swords, the Yatagons. We just need to make one more of those and then all of our warriors will have one, or each of our warriors will have one rather. So durability 12 the uh, brick wall. It doesn't say anything at all about the shingled roof. Durability. Like nothing at all. Hmm. It would look nice though, wouldn't it? We'll make some of these, that ought to be plenty, and we'll see. Yeah, we don't necessarily need to have the brick wall in the background if we just want to put the roof here. We'll see how it'll look. And whether or not we'll be able to build or put the, um, the Tesla towers and uh, archery towers and things on top of the roof. We'll have to deal with these now though, once we have dealt with these, we'll be able to resume our house building. We are going to get another, we got another tour. Uh oh. 
Do we have time to uh, put some Tesla towers on the roof? There we are. These are going to be super helpful. Ah, oh, it's already here. Well, we'll at least have time to put some of them down here. Luckily, our house is made out of brick, so it's a bit fire resistant. Oh yeah, game, I noticed that I'm under attack. Ooh. Goblins with parachutes. Not a problem though, we are <laughs> rather well equipped at this point. Flamethrower, alright. Hmm, only a couple of towers though. There we go. Uh, we just need to remove these because uh, I want to replace those um, those brick tiles with the uh, roof tiles. Looks way better. At least, in my opinion, it does. Let's see if this is going to work. to put a hatch on top of the ladder. We'll see if um if that'll work if the um game is then convinced that the house is complete. Because there is always going to be that gap there. We're just going to put a hatch in it. We've got an iron hatch. Sure. Let's make another one as well. Because I think we'll eventually want to replace the, um, the wooden hatch that we've got leading down into the underground part of our base. Hopefully this will complete the house. Let's wait and... Oh! <laughs> we need to actually put some more walls over there and here that 
should complete the house. Dwarves are hungry. Let's give them some food. And the house is complete. Hooray! Although there's still that... That, uh, flamey thingy there on the right. That's kind of an indicator that the house is not complete. But the game says it is, so... Let's put our pet houses back in. Owl cat house is going to go on the left here. And let's get lots of wood. Under attack. Oh. Shear a couple of sheep. We do need like another three Tesla towers. Hopefully the people who have them in their backpacks will soon take them to the stockpile. We could of course always just make three more Tesla towers. We can put the extras on the ground or we can just put the whole roof all of those towers but I think I'd rather have a few on the ground as well to help us battle any attackers there we go got some cozy lighting going on in here uh, but I don't want this whole episode to be just house building and decoration. So, um, we're going to go and do some other stuff now and um, at some point we'll get back to decorating the house. Now that we have a little tiny house built here. Let's try out the digging machine in a place where we can just set it and forget it. Like, for example, ah, oh, there's water there. Probably don't want to try and put it there. I don't think it can travel over water. But maybe like just above the water. Yeah. This will also be a good opportunity to see what it does when it encounters an enemy. Because those cocoons over there are, um, well, um, the sort of, um, Tiny little bug thingies are going to hatch from those. So we'll make the digging machine go kind of right above them. So that'll make them hatch and then we'll see what it does 
when it encounters an enemy. Wow! So our people are actually training of their own accord now. Um, it's just that Nostra Dwarvus and Demeter really don't need to train any further because they're already max level um, mage and archer. So it's kind of weird that they would go and train being max level. Now we just need to wait for somebody to bring the digging machine over there. Lovely. We'll set it to drill right. We have 174 mana, so I'm, uh, I'm not concerned. It digs or drills so slowly that um, I will be able to stop it before it drains all of the mana. In fact, it probably won't drain a whole lot of it because uh, we also get some back periodically. Hmm, can't do anything about these things here. Well, I guess we could dig through the wall and see what we've got over here. What was that sound? Something just let out like a threatening, angry rumble. Oh, we're going straight towards the, uh, the trap thing. We'll see if we can dig through the, uh, the special kind of stone there. But if we can't, just a few coins is no big deal to us at this point anymore. Let's make it a little easier for our dwarves to traverse the way over here. So wow, we defeated a dragon. That's pretty cool. And it didn't even manage to burn down our house because we built it out of brick. Kind of uh, just like the uh, wise little piggy in the uh, in the tale of the three little piggies. Aha! Uh -huh. It's found a carpenter's book. Yeah, it's going very slowly, but that's fine. 
we'll just let it do its thing and uh, have our own adventures here in the meantime. We'll dig through here. Oh, so those do not necessarily wake up when we walk near them. Good to know. We'll have to remember to come back here and see how the digging machine reacts to the presence of an enemy. Oh, I guess the a caterpillar is, is kind of the right word for the things that hatch out of the cocoons. Caterpillar, centipede, some, some, something like that. More wool. Our house is going to be so cozy. We just need to decorate it a little. See, the level 100 people are training here. You guys don't need to train anymore. I guess they are gaining exp. Is level 100 not the max? Because it does look like they are slowly gaining exp there. The bar is going up. The sort of orangish bar there. Wow. I did not know that you could train the skills beyond level 100. Oh, they have dug all the way through here. Well, let's see if we can dig through that. We may not be able to. I mean, we don't even have the best tools yet. Ah, hello. We have found the final guardian. Oh. Ah, just a skeleton. No biggie. Let's put a ladder there. So it'll be easier for people to climb up and down. Mithril. Mm. So here's the thing. As I said, I have never, un until I started this Let's Play, I had never really played the uh, campaign. So I have no idea what happens when we travel to the next world in the campaign. I mean, <laughs> obviously we get to the next world and I think we get to keep our dwarves and they get to keep their skills. But here's the thing. Will they also get to keep their equipment? I'm pretty sure that anything that we have in our stockpile, we will not be able to take with us. But what about the things that the dwarves have on them? Will they be able to keep those? Is it going to be worth it to give them top tier weapons and armor? and um, tools. I guess we'll do it. We'll give them the best 
weapons and armor and tools that we can. And then we'll see and find out. To that end, we need to climb up the tech tree a little. Also, are we going to get to keep these? The research that we've done? Performance, Harding, Mana, Learnability. Will we get to keep those levels? I guess we'll see about that too. So we are going to actually learn a lot of things as we move from this first world, first world to the next. We are going to learn whether the dwarves will get to keep their equipment, the stuff that they have on them. I'm pretty sure the stuff in the stockpile will be lost. But um... Yeah, we'll learn whether the dwarves get to keep the stuff they have on them and whether they, whether we get to keep our research bonuses. All right, what do we want to do to complete master decorating? We'll make some clocks. One portrait. Oh, we need more paper. Nah, let's make some more clocks. We will certainly be aware of the time. And now we're just waiting on that paper. That ought to complete advanced alchemy. Engineering. We need to do a little something. Ah, oh, we actually need to wait till the metal wheel gets made. Um... Sure. A steel door. May be useful. Why not? Make a couple of those. And that'll complete engineering. Soon we'll be able to get to mithril working. And master alchemy, actually. <sighs> Didn't look very promising with the... Uh, that dwarf trying trying to break the special block there. We may not be able to get into that place. Engineering complete. Mithril working. Let's make some mithril ingots. I think we will need these for the tools and we will certainly need them for the armor. People are bringing the Tesla coils over. Now we have a pretty good aerial defense here. Maybe, um, yeah, maybe we'll put some on the ground as well.
imps are hard at work gathering resources they are super handy to have actually they help so much gathering the resources and bringing them to the stockpile As soon as we get more Tesla towers built, we'll also put one on the other side of our house. And that still points to here. Hey! Has there been some progress here? Looks like there has. Under attack? Oh, hello. Everybody's coming over to deal with the one poor zo poor um zombie there. Oh, so it just stops when it encounters an enemy? It's flashing a red light. Yeah. Um Do we wanna try to restart it? Is that going to make a difference? If we turn it back on again, or is it just... It does make sense that it's just going to refuse to go forward with an enemy there. Yeah. We'll, um, try and get to there from, like, another angle or something. Or maybe we'll go defeat the enemy and, um, make it so that the, uh, machine can go forward again. Yeah, there's our owl cat with its, um, blue eyes and let's actually see about the progress. What that block has regenerated its health? Okay, I think that means that it's impossible for us to break it. Or maybe it has several health bars? Uh, I don't know. Well, in any case, I think it's pretty clear that we are not getting in there. At least not with the tools we currently have. Let's save here for now and uh, continue from this point next time. Thank you so much for spending time with me here on the Mellow. It was lovely to have you. I'd like it if you'd leave me a like. And if you're not already subscribed, then please do subscribe to conveniently keep up with my content and to show me that you want to keep watching my videos. Remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you next time.